Welcome, welcome on lesson three on DaVinci Resolve, uh, Fusion into DaVinci Resolve. This is uh, Sky Replacement. And um, we have a clip, which is the clip of these two actors walking by. And then we have also a sky underneath, okay? So now what we want to do is replace the sky into this image, okay? So let's get um, into this video, sorry. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, open up our Fusion page here. And on Fusion, uh, we are going to import that same um, clip of the actors here. First thing I'm going to do is actually uh, rename that to, let's call it actors. Okay, and then let's call this just very creatively sky. Okay, now let's attach our. Output of our actors uh, to the output of our sky, and it, it automatically uh, adds a node to it. Then, uh, next thing we're going to do is take our sky here. Uh, let's add a background node into our node editor, and then let's load it into the monitor here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is add a um, merge node. Uh, once we have a merge node, we can take our sky output and insert it into the foreground of our merge two, and then take the output of our merge two, insert it into the input of merge one. I know this sounds complicated, but the more you do it, the better it is. Um, so uh, we have the actor, we have the sky uh, here. Actually, let's go back because before we do that, we actually want to change this. So right now our clip is at uh, 3888 to 2187, but let's say we want it in uh, HD, right? So um, 1920 by 1080. We can click on our background here and then go to image. Uh, and then um, on our image here, we can out of resolution here, uncheck that, and let's change it to standard HD resolution, 1920 by uh, 1080p, okay? Perfect. So now it is a different resolution. Now we can do the same process we're doing. So add our merge, uh, output of our sky here, right, to our uh, the foreground and our merge here, and then the merge output to the input of our merge one. <laughs> uh, okay, nice. So we have that. Uh, next thing we're going to do is let's load our actors here. Uh, actually, let's load our merge one. Sorry. And now we can see that nothing has changed. Okay, that's because we need to um, the merge the apply mode. I'm going to change that from normal here to darken, and we have a very rough sky replacement that still we need to work on the edges, etc. We're going to do that shortly. So on our sky here, I am going to add a transform node right underneath it. Okay, and that allows us to basically move the sky. And I am going to move the sky to like this position here. Let's make sure that nothing is into frame. To about there, about there should be good. Okay. So now we replaced. Uh, we uh, we added our sky, and now we can start working on uh, refining this. Awesome. So first thing we're gonna add is a luma keyer. Okay, Luma here, attach the actor's output into the Luma here's input here. And let's load the Luma here and change the image view to um, alpha here. Now on the threshold here, we basically need to keep the sky as white as we can. And then the actors in the rocks, just this part other than the sky as dark as we can. So I'm gonna start with the um, lower threshold here, take it up, up to a point where make it as dark as you possibly can. But if you go too far, you see you start darkening the sky. So we wanna make sure to key it. I'm gonna do 0.8 here. Okay, it's pretty good, even though, uh, it's introducing a little bit. And maybe 0.7 works better. And then I'm gonna take the higher threshold here down and make the sky fully white. I think 0.9. Do it, okay. Beautiful. Now we have a uh, we we kind of separated a, a little bit. We we created a little bit of a better mat. Still, we're not there yet. We are going to add a tool called the road dilate here. 
let's attach our output to the road input let's load it and then let's take the amount down up to where our becomes black I would say to about I would say to about to about here it's good now right good I'm gonna add another one I'm gonna add another one and Let's load it. Now we need to bring our edges back a little bit. So let's take that up. So taking that up though, it does introduce a little bit of artifacts into our image. And that's because, as I was telling you earlier, um, it's kind of like a game of really finding a good balance here, right? Um, okay, and we can go back to our erode dilate here and and basically take it down until it disappears up to about here. Okay, perfect. Now we have a good, better um, luma gear here, a better match. Uh, and we did that with the luma gear and two erode dilates. Okay, now we need to add a uh, something to connect to. So in this case, I'm going to use a matte control. Take again our actors foreground image to the um, input here, and then take the output and attach it to the foreground. Now we can load that. We can see nothing. It's because we need to go back to our RGB image here, and then let uh, nothing happens. And that's the end of the tutorial. <laughs> now I'm joking. So uh, what you need to do actually here is to uh, change the combine here to combine alpha and we can see that that checkboard is actually not where it should be it should be on the sky not to on our subject and the mountains here the, the little rocks whatever uh, that's because we need to invert the mat once we invert it now we are on the the other side and uh, we still don't see anything that's because I want we need to add a merge here okay and then connect the output of our mat control to the merge now let's load the merge Okay, on our mat control here, let's post multiply it. And now we can see the sky that is fully replaced into our image. Uh, one last problem here is that the edges are a little harsh, so I'm going to actually add a little bit of a blur to it just to bring in a little bit of softer kind of look. And we are almost there. So now we do have a pretty good mat around our subjects here. Uh, and we did that basically by adding the luma here here on top you could see it uh, and then we added an enroll dilate to really get rid of all the uh, white spots here and then uh, another enroll dilate basically to bring back the edges and then we connected it to a mat control where we combine our alpha inverted the mat and then uh, we um, we, we basically replaced our sky into the image. Now the image looks a little the the, the footage sorry I keep saying image the footage looks a little bit uh, almost like it's pasted in and that's because uh, our sky is not moving we, <laughs> we need to track our sky. So uh, we're going to go on our merge here and right click on the merge two then on our merge center here we're going to modify with and then we're going to track your position okay so once we do that we it adds a modifier here and we need to add an actual um, tracker source in this case we want our actors we want this guy to follow our actor so we take our actors and we drag it here that's our tra uh, tracker source and now we just basically place the um, tracker where we need it to be okay so in this case our tracker right it's going to be here. Okay, touch it a little bit there. And now, what we want to do next, once we have that, uh, path center is path center here, and then go in the first frame. I'm already there, and then track forward. Now, uh, fusion processes uh, the tracker now is tracking the movement based on the point we decided to. 
this is a little bit different than adding a tracker where we added multiple points this is a little bit a simplified um, way of doing it and it's good for something like this for something simpler obviously you wouldn't do this for more complicated shots you'd use a, a either point tracker planar tracker or even a 3d uh, track okay so now I can see something right away which is something very common which is it's well tracked up to a certain point and then as we approach as our actor here crosses see crosses the frame we lose our track so I'm gonna go back here to about 131 okay and I am going to move uh, I am going first to go on my track one here and change the actual um, path center to track uh, track center append which basically means that we, everything up to here was great okay up to the point where we had um, up to the point where uh, this frames where our actor crossed frame so with our track center append on frame 131 then we track forward from current position and now our track should be done so if we load here our merge 2 okay if, if we load it merge 2 we play it we can see that it tracked the position of our image okay of our video I'm sorry I keep saying image um, great so now that we have that and uh, we can basically load it back we can load now our foreground and we can see that and now obviously it's rendering it's, it's loading we can see that our um, sky it's actually tracked to the foreground uh, clip which is our two subjects walking around the beach and that's already a um, really a, a, a big step um, okay so the sky is tracked now the next thing we want to do actually is to we want to um, blend this in a little better okay uh, so far it's looking good but I am going to get rid of this background here and it turns back to black here and I'm going to get the actors I'll put here one more time into the merge 2 and brings our image back I'm gonna go on my merge 2 and I'm gonna change the blend to 0.7 here okay click OK and you can see that now the sky is blended into our image much much better and if we take this render range here okay render range in here we can see that our image now it's uh, the sky looks much much more realistic and it really blends within the image before it was a little bit felt a little bit like almost like it was pasted in and that was because uh, we really needed to uh, adjust the blend a little bit okay so this is our first technique of doing sky replacement with infusion okay and we did that with fairly a good amount of nodes Okay. and that is also a different way which I don't know if I prefer but I can show you a slightly different variant of doing pretty much the same thing that we did so far okay and it's basically almost the same amount of steps that is just a few things that are a little bit different the process but the it's basically the results are exactly the same so I am here command Z command Z to um, basically undo everything and I am going to load my sky here and uh, basically as I said before I had my sky imported to media pool you import the foreground and you rename it to actors now I'm gonna I'm not gonna redo that just so that I can show you the second technique uh, faster so actors here once again let's attach it to your node tree here uh, first thing I'm gonna do is bring back our sky okay and bring up our sky here uh, background node load it uh, image auto resolution change the res here 1920 by 1080 okay and now we do have a standard HD clip uh, let's add a merge node after it let's add my output skies output into the foreground of my merge and then the output of our merge into the output of my merge one okay and now we should have something of this sort 
just like we did before okay let me add a transform right after my sky and I'm going to adjust this shortly okay so uh, next thing I'm gonna do is to load my merge to here and uh, first thing I'm gonna do actually is to let's add once again same step as before our luma here and let's change the um, let's change it to alpha here and let's load my luma here same thing we did before threshold here take it to a point where we're really not darkening the sky so about here then take this down up to the point where the sky is black perfect perfect and we got that now after this we're going to add an erode dilate here and we're going to take the amount down oh let's load it remember you need to load you need to load into the screen and same thing once again and I'm going to take the amount up to bring our edges back okay up to about there and you can see it brings this dots if I take it down a little bit you see it's done so it's really you kind of play with it a little bit now let's move this out a little bit here and let's add a mat control once again uh, mat control goes here and uh, our um, basically our actors input uh, output to our mat controls input it road dilates uh, output here to our mat controls uh, foreground in here see we can move it there I like it here for now and now uh, let's load that into the screen okay and one last thing I'm gonna do actually is to um, to add a polygon mat I explain to you shortly why actually I explain to you right now uh, if I load uh, let me auto render range here if I load my road dial it too you can see that I have these spots coming up here and I want to get rid of them so I'm gonna do a very rough I'm gonna draw a very rough mat around it because I want to get rid of them okay and once I do that now I can basically use this as a garbage mat basically so grab that into our luma here and then garbage mat it into it and now if I um, load it into the screen here you can see that those spots are gone oh we have a few up here actually so we can basically get rid of them by uh, let me be, bring also the softness a little up here to about one and then um, and then uh, adjust a little bit the mat because remember we could see them here on the edge so I'm gonna basically just adjust this mat a little bit here okay so about like that right around there okay and then then now it should be good to really it should be nice oh, you can see there's one little here uh, can adjust it a little more okay it's pretty much gone you can see that so with the garbage mat we're able to really uh, get rid of that okay awesome now that we did that we can load back our mat control here and I am going to actually add some softness to our edges here I'm going to take it to about, to about two so we have soft edges okay um, perfect and now we can see that nothing has happened and once again that's because we need to um, do something to this just with the way we did before we're gonna go back in the map control combine combine alpha here and then we need to invert it right and then a post multiply the image here and we can see that now we have that um, the sky here uh, one thing I'm gonna do actually the blur here it's a little strong take it down a little bit 
to about there. And now we can finally start connecting these things. Let me move my merge a little bit here. Okay, and let's load our merge. My command control here. Let me load this. Okay, in just one second. We have uh, we have everything. Command to alpha. We have our arrow dilate is done. Uh, our merge is there. So what I'm going to do next is basically um, take my clip here. You can see that just a few last adjustments. Uh, take my mat control and attach it to the foreground here and let's load our merge and we should have our sky here replaced into the image okay um, great so now that we have that and this is all in, in HD remember because we did it with the background node now that we did that um, I can basically uh, Add, I'm gonna add another uh, merge here. Merge three. Take my actors. I'll put put it into our input here, and let's load this and blend it down to about there. Okay. Now let me go back to our merge two. Look at the difference that that makes when we add the merge here. Uh, if I before after okay so this was a little bit more like pasted in it's a little bit better now okay um okay before we do that though because this i'm i'm, I'm showing you basically what what how that's going to look before we do that though we need to um to basically uh track our background to our for, uh, to our actors movement the clip and to do that just the way i showed you before we need to uh, basically track, right? The um, do a track and then um, follow our foreground here. Uh, let's first adjust the sky to basically the point where we like it. So I'll say probably about here. I like it there. Okay, it's looking a little better now. And on our merge two, let's right click here, merge center, modify with tracker position. And I'm gonna move the modifier here. The track source, it's going to be our actors. Okay. I'm gonna move this the tracker here. Move the tracker to right on here. We have a little bit of an edge. Okay, and now that we have that, okay, we have our track sources as our actors, which is our foreground here. And on our first frame, we can track forward. And Fusion starts tracking the foreground video with the two actors walking on the beach okay it's doing his thing frame by frame and that's just the way we did before it's going to track well till a certain point where the man actually crosses the frame which was around frame 130 which has happened in a few frames run here okay and then we lose we lose that so let's go back it was great up to see there so I'm gonna start it from around here actually I'm gonna do the same thing as before frame 131 track 1 path center I'm gonna change it to track center append and I am going to move my tracker to the same position I was using before by the way you can see here on the inspector the track as he updates as I'm as I'm moving it okay then we have our position 131 we check the boot and we change the path center and then uh, track the remaining frame and now if we load this we can see that 
tractor sky. Okay. Amazing. So now we have a sky that is basically tracking. the actor's position. So now this makes for a much much more realistic um, blend blend in the but you can see that. Okay. And you see how the sky is moving along the characters. Okay. As I was showing you before, as I started showing you, um, now what we need to do is actually add another merge here. Okay and connect the actors output to our merge uh, foreground here and now we can change our blend once we view it here change our blend to about here okay let's go back to our merge and now the sky is blended in okay this is what happens before this is after which blends it much better however there is we can also see almost this halo kind of uh, on the edges here. To adjust that, we just basically add another merge. Once again, actors output to our merge foreground here. Uh, let me move this a little bit down. Okay. There's a lot of different. I'm going to move this here. There's a lot of different nodes in here. And, uh, okay, perfect. So now. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our merge four here and change the merges uh, apply mode from normal here to uh, darken. Once we do that, so I'm gonna show you this is loaded. Okay, look what happens. Before this merge, we had that. So look at the edges here. Look after the merge. We bring back those edges, so the, that this halo effect, we get rid of it. Okay, and this is how you do a sky replacement with both techniques that I showed you. It doesn't matter which one you prefer. It it's it's really up to you. Um, personally, I prefer probably this one because I did also add a uh, garbage mat around my Luma Kier and really isolated those. Uh, those points that we had here at the bottom uh, and got rid of them so um, you know but it, it it doesn't matter I think you can watch the tutorial in whichever one you feel that works better for you uh, just just go with that perfect so that was the end for tutorial number three on our lesson on Skype replacement this is basically uh, basic Skype replacement on the next video we are going to work on the lesson four we are going to start using the planar tracker and the paint tool and thank you for watching and see you next